Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to correctly set up a Yeelight LED bulb. All right, let's get into it. Now, Yeelight makes some of the best budget smart lights today. You can actually get one for as low as $9 on Amazon or on AliExpress. I've been using Yeelight for a while now and they make up the majority of my house's smart lights. It just works out of the box. You simply plug it in into your light fixture or lamp holder and turn on the switch and it will just work. However, if you want to use some of its smart features such as controlling it using a smart speaker or your smartphone or making it work with your other smart home products, then you have to set it up properly using the Yeelight app. Alright, so let's get into that. With me is the Yeelight Smart LED bulb. I have both the white and colored versions, but the setup process is more or less the same. All right, so before we get started, download the Yeelight app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Then sign in using a Yeelight account or Xiaomi account. Yeelight is actually a Xiaomi product. So if you already have a Xiaomi account, you can actually just use your Xiaomi account to sign into this app. And then make sure that your Wi-Fi router has the 2.4 GHz frequency band. This is very important. Note that it does not work with the 5 GHz band. So if you have a Wi-Fi router that is dual band, meaning it has both the 2.4 and 5 GHz band, make sure that you separate the SSIDs or Wi-Fi names for the 2.4 and 5 GHz band. So that when it comes to connecting the bulb to the Wi-Fi router, you know that you're connecting to the 2.4 GHz band. This step is very, very important. Then make sure that your Wi-Fi router uses WPA slash WPA2 Wi-Fi security instead of the newer WPA3 standard. This is a requirement for your smart bulb to work. Now, sometimes you may need to ensure that your Wi-Fi router DNS servers are set to Google's public DNS servers, which is 8.8.8.8 or 8.8.4.4. This is helpful while troubleshooting, just in case you have trouble setting up the e-light with your Wi-Fi router. I encountered this issue and I had to change this DNS server. However, it may not be the issue with you. All right. Now, if you're not setting up the bulb for the very first time, you will have to reset it. To reset the bulb, you have to switch it on and off five times until the light blinks. All right, with that said, let's get going. If you downloaded the Yeelight app and signed in with your Yeelight or Xiaomi account and you have correctly set up your Wi-Fi router, then the setup process is fairly straightforward. To set up the Yeelight bulb with the Yeelight app, simply open the Yeelight app and then tap on the plus icon on the top right corner of the app to add new light and then select add device from the menu. The Yeelight app will start scanning nearby devices to search for any new light in the vicinity. So if the light is not automatically discovered, then try to reset it as already mentioned before, and you can do that by switching it on and off five times until it blinks. Now, tap on the newly discovered light. If it shows up, mine shows up as LED bulb 2 color BO column 03. Now connect it to your Wi-Fi router. Make sure you connect it to the 2.4 GHz band as already mentioned. You will be prompted to enter your Wi-Fi password. So just go ahead and enter it. Now connect your phone to the Yeelight's Wi-Fi network. This network is created by the bulb itself, not your Wi-Fi router. Mine shows something like Yeelight Light Color 2 dash MIAP B003. Now return to the app to complete the setup. The setup should be complete by now. You can go ahead and name your e-light. You can leave the default name such as maybe e-light LED bulb 2, or you can give it a descriptive name based on where the light is. For example, a living room or bedroom or backyard. All right, now your e-light is properly set up and ready to be controlled by your smartphone. You can set up different light modes or scenes such as sunrise or sunset or tea time or reading or night mode or movie or romance, whatever, depending on your mood and your time and so forth. 
You can also increase or decrease the brightness of the bulb from the app quite easily. You can change to different colors, you know, if you have the colored version, there are like a million colors you can choose from. So you can simply just go to the app and change that. You can turn it on and off remotely wherever you are in the world as long as you're connected to the internet. You can connect it to a smart speaker such as the Google Home Mini and you know you can issue commands from your smart speaker to easily control the bulb using your voice. Now these are smart features you can get when you set up the bulb with the e Light app. Alright, I've been using this for months now and I absolutely love it. It's solid, it's great, it just works for most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't really connect to the servers. I think if you choose your region to be China, sometimes we have connectivity issues so you can't easily control it with your smartphone. But for the most part, it actually works and it is great value for money. All right, I'll leave the link to where you can buy it in the description below so that you can go and buy it for yourself. These are affiliate links, so I made an a commission at no extra charge to you. All right, this has been our video on how to set up the Yeelight bulb. If you liked the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.